Hi, how's it going everybody? So today we'll be looking at a very useful tool for Linux gamers and it is called Steam Tinker Launch. So Steam Tinker Launch allows you to configure both native Linux games and games that run via Proton. So basically what it does is provides you with a nice GUI for making tweaks to games. Sometimes this is required in Linux to get games to work or to perform better. Now if you're on Arch or Manjaro, it's actually in the AUR, so very easy for you to install. Otherwise, just copy the single bash script from the git repo and put it into user local bin. Steam Tinker Launch is very useful for when you need to install something into a Proton prefix to get that game to work, such as a media codec. So we'll use that as an example. Using Steam Tinker Launch is very simple. You'd just right click on a game, you'd go to properties, set launch options, and in the Steam launch options, you'd put this command here, which will run Steam Tinker Launch. Now, when we click play, there'll be a brief period of time where we'll have the opportunity to click a settings button. If you don't click this in time, it'll go ahead and launch the game. I think it gives you three seconds. So I click settings. And of course, you can change that to like 10 seconds if you'd like. Now, as you can see, we get all sorts of great options in here such as launching it in game mode. For some games, game mode will help increase the performance of the game. We even get an option for Mango HUD, which provides a nice HUD that provides us with information such as frames per second. And we can override the version of Proton that launches with this game as well. So we can say, launch it with that version of Proton, please. And Scrolling down, we can see run custom command. So if we change this to one, here under custom command, we can select a custom executable. So we can place a Windows installation file here to install a dependency into the prefix for this game. So I just placed lab filters in here, which is a collection of codecs for Windows. So let's say you were having the cutscenes weren't working for a game you're playing via Proton, you could try this fix. And we can say save and reload. Excellent. Now we just want to play it this one time. Because of course, once you've got those codecs installed, you don't want to install them every single time you start the game. So we'll want to go change that one to a zero. And look at that. We got the installer for lab filters. So now this will install into the gauntlet prefix. No start menu shortcuts. Now I should mention that this is not required for Gauntlet. Gauntlet just works out of the box, but some games do require some media codecs to work. After the lab filters installation, the game did launch, so I just quit out and so I could come back here and change this one to a zero and save and reload because I no longer need that to run on launch that way it's not gonna try to install that every single time i play gauntlet and this has so much more options such as installing packages for wine tricks and launching wine config for this prefix anyways that was steam tinker launch i know this video was very short i encourage you just to try it yourself it's a very useful utility if you like to play games on Linux. Quite often you have to make some modifications and tweaks, and this just makes it a lot easier. 
anyways thank you all for watching see you all later